Hello and welcome to this week's web chat with Vision 33. Uh, today will be the part two of the inventory session that we did started last week. Uh, presenter is going to be Gregory Dick. He's out of our Vancouver office in the Total Care Department. Um, I will be recording and if you do have any questions please use the uh, question panel that's provided by the web, web chat uh, um, software and we'll get your questions answered as quickly as we can. Um, so without further ado, Gregory, it's all yours. Thank you. So today we're going to be covering serialization and batches as well as warehouse management, which will include uh, a review of the reports available. Um, and then as you can see, we'll be covering uh, other information later this month, pick and pack and setting prices next week and MRP uh, on, in the last week of the month. So first we're going to talk about serialization and batches. Serial numbers are used to track individual objects, uh, for example, computers, um, high value things, etc. like that. Well, while batches are used to, uh, to follow groups of products, uh, for, instance, for instance, die lots, uh, things like that. So Serial numbers can help you track items down to a level of each individual object in your warehouse so you know exactly which one was sold to the customer. Um, when combined with the binning functionality of SAP, you will know exactly where in the, in the warehouse that, that individual item is uh, kept. And as mentioned, the typical criteria for dirt determining if an item needs a serial number are uh, high value items. and should the item be attracted for security or repair reasons. Um, if you are setting up um, uh, uh, warranty on any of these items, then generally uh, you want to use the, uh, the serialization and it will automatically create a uh, customer card, which we'll take a look at in a bit. Uh, serial numbers are also important for service. Uh, can be set up automatically with a card. Um, and uh, from there we can maintain contracts, service calls, transactions, uh, etc. Batches are used to track groups of items with characteristics that are common. Uh, the characteristics uh, might be a shade of color, granularity, pH balance, uh, any number of variables uh, where it's not 